Hey guys, check out G2A.com for cheap games. There's a link and discount code in the description down below. For those who don't know, actually, we're actually doing another Elgato series. Uh, we're streaming, we're doing this one on Forza 6, actually. So if you are a fan of Forza 6, you can go and check out the rules. It's a really, really, really cool um, series that we're planning on doing and things like that. So if you want to check that out, I think you guys have until Tuesday to sign up and get your teams entered and get... Get on a team, find a team if you need a team and things like that. So make sure you make sure you do that um, before before Tuesday because that's actually the cutoff date. And then we're going, okay, your team's in, your team's in, your team's in and things like that. I think we have seven or eight full teams right now. So you guys can actually go in and uh, make your team, make a team yourself if you want to go on and hook up with other people in the in, in ARA 12 and stuff like that. And, 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 and see how and see how it works and things like that. AI car has no rims. Yo! Yo! Oh. Yo, he has no rims. What are you doing? What I thought we would do for the final Elgato race is actually lead in to the new series on Forza Horizon... On Forza Motorsport 6, sorry. What's happening in Forza Motorsport 6? The first race is going to be in a 1994 Mazda MX-5. So I thought today what we would do is to kick off or, or, or finish off the series, I would say, with uh, race number six of the Elgato tournament. We would go, we would build ourselves MX-5s, whichever MX-5 you want in this particular game, build it up to, let's say, S-Class, and then we'll come back out, we'll do a race, and the person who wins will get their hands on an Elgato swag bag. And that's gonna be it, that's gonna be it for, for the series. And then after that, we got the finals. The finals is gonna be playing for the grand prize a brand new Elgato HD60. Let's get ourselves an MX-5. So we have no budget to worry about. We just gotta worry about what class, what car, what MX-5 is going to be the fastest. So I think I'm gonna go with that one. I think this one would be good. Because look, if I just take this and I swap in a different engine, if I swap in a... probably don't want a four-rotor because then it's only restrictors. If I use that engine, it'd probably be better. No, we'll go with that one. And then let's see. Let's see. So I think I think this one's good. I'm gonna keep it rear wheel drive. We're gonna keep the engine that's in there now. Uh, we need splitters and stuff though. We do actually need those for the first time. Forza Aero. The one time it's useful is when you're actually building a race car. Four order sounds like a Formula One car. Yeah, it's the point. It's cool. All right, then we need race tires. Okay then. Uh, are we done? Cause I would have liked to do some gearing, maybe some brakes. Okay, we can still do the brakes. We do this yeah we can how much stuff could we toss on while already maxed out i also probably want to make it stiff yo none of this stuff is making us any better how much more can we toss on this thing that we shouldn't be able to okay the clutch i don't need the clutch i don't need i need this though if i lose five points and i put the v8 in or what if i went down in tires because i ah uh, it makes us worse but i'd prefer to have the arrow there what if we chuck those tires on and then we can do all the yeah okay 265s. This thing's so gonna gonna be so feathery and so light. All right, let's just see if we can toss on some different rims. Then we'll be good. Well, then we'll be good. Then we'll be good. That makes our car better. How does putting it on heavier rims make it better? I don't understand that, but we're done. Whatever, it's fine. Nick, I found a new glitch, but I can't upload the video to Twitter. Upload it to YouTube then, and just send me a link. And just send me a link on Twitter. Look at this thing. It looks great. How many MX-5s are we gonna have? Yo, Chris James. I like that name. All right, boys, everyone come over here, line up. Alan's got the racing one. There's actually an MX-5 pack for this game, which is pretty cool. So if you go over here, it's actually free. You can check out um, this. There's a Forza Horizon 2 Mazda MX-5 car pack. I wonder, let's see, what, is, what MX-5 is everyone taking? I have the 90s. There's one other person. There's two other people with the same one as me. 2016 MX-5, there's one, two, three, three of those. 05 MX-5, there's one, there's just one. One, two, three, four, five, whoa. Apparently everyone thinking that's one, that one's the fastest. And a Gen 1. Uh, you came in a Mazda 3, buddy. That wasn't really the point. Who are you? Where's your Mazda? Really? What? Nixdix.com. What? That's the cleanest paint job I've ever seen for a joke website. What? Yo, Tom Church is having some issues. RIP NICKSTICKS.COM Yo, Tom Church is having some problems getting them. Jesus Christ. Can you get off your Tesco Wi-Fi, please? 
Let's go do a race, boys. Let's go do a race. Where should we go and race? I think we should go... The last one was a point-to-point -point race, and that was over here somewhere, I believe. So I think maybe we should head... I think maybe we should head over here? That looks like a pretty solid race. Midday. No collisions. S1 cars. Who has the fastest MX-5? Someone's in a Veneno. Well, you're gonna have a slight issue getting into S1 class. Oh, that car is so cool. I love the red. I don't know what it is with these red cars today. They look so good. So we got a lobby full of MX-5s. All S1 class, minus the drift car. Wherever it is. There's, there's one of these cars that's a drift tune. So, uh, hope you, hope you do well, buddy. Anyways, let's go. I want to practice my driving skills. I forgot I was rear-wheel drive. It's so twitchy, this. It's so light. I said that would be the problem with this thing as well. I said this thing would be incredibly slidey, and it is. It's stupid slidey. Oh shit, we're going off-road. Oh shit. I didn't know this was in here. I built my car as a track car. Whoops. Oh shit. Uh, uh, through the sides. Uh, I don't like this off-roading in my track car. I brought an MX-5. Okay, back of the road. Back on the road. Where's Alan? I think Alan's behind me. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, my license plate says pig. Yeah, I probably shouldn't be get getting distracted by these things. Yo, it's so slidey. It's so slidey. It's so light. That's the issue with it. All right. This is a good line. Good line from Nikki boy. Come on. Come on. Tom Church is having a slight issue. Tom Church is a drifter, not a racer. <laughs> so there is that. There is that to keep in mind. Come on. Everyone races so well in these races, I can't keep up. Somehow I'm in seventh. It's not brilliant. It's not brilliant. But I am doing better than <laughs> Alan in last. <laughs> Alan's not very good at racing games. Yeah, and across the line. I'll take seventh. Yo! Nick Fire, you were the dude who was killing it in the open lobby earlier before we started the Elgato races. Congratulations to you and your... No way, you were in a Gen 1 MX-5. That's really awesome. Those are going to be the cars that we're using in uh, Forza 6, by the way. We're using the 1994 Mazda MX-5 for race number one of the Elgato Racing Championship over in, in, uh, in Forza Motorsport. That, that's, that's pretty cool. Congrats to you, Mr. Nick Fire. That was quick. To control these cars when they're that light and they're that powerful is quite the challenge. So, massive props to you, dude. I will see you in the final. Here he is. Congrats, dude. Oh, you got the cool car. Correction, Alan's not very good at games. <laughs> Drifting so quickly. Here we go. Anti-cranium. That is very, both of them very solid. You gotta, okay. The thing with this track is it's very easy to lose your points.